We have another NHL trade to discuss today, this time between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Ottawa Senators, where we see another swap of unfavorable contracts. We'll get into all the details coming up next. So welcome back here to Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some breaking news from the NHL. We have a trade that happened just a little while ago here between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Ottawa Senators. Now the Senators acquire Ryan Callahan from Tampa along with a 2020 fifth round selection. Going back to Tampa is goaltender Mike Condon in a 2020 sixth round selection. So ultimately, they swap bad contracts. Ottawa gets a, a higher pick out of it as well since Callahan's cap hit is higher. Of course, Callahan's not expected to play this year. It was announced earlier in the offseason that he was battling a back injury, which was going to be career ending. Now, he only has one year left on his contract, and obviously where he can't play, they could place him on long-term injury reserve. Uh, the contract's likely insured, which would actually save Ottawa actual cash. And as we know, anytime they have an opportunity to save actual physical money, they do that. So kind of makes sense from that perspective. It's not quite clear exactly if Condon's going to be able to play this year or not. Uh, there's been a lot of debate about what was going on with him last year. Obviously, he had a couple of bad performances early in the year. Uh, then he was out. He was injured. He was in the minors. Uh, he would know he was in the minors. He barely played. I'm not even sure if he played much at all. Um, and there's a lot of debate that he was going on dealing with some hip issues and whatnot. So it's not quite clear if he's technically healthy or not. So the Lightning might have the option of placing him on LTIR if he's not healthy, or even if he is, he's likely not going to make that roster at a training camp where they just signed McElhaney. And of course, they get Vasilevsky as a starter. Uh, so he'd be at best number three, but they also have Louis Domingue. So more than likely, he's going to end up in the minors buried. Uh, so it gets him a little bit of additional cap relief or on long-term injury reserve if he's unable to play. Um, and they'll get more relief from that perspective. Now, technically with the swap as is, Tampa saves 3.4 million in cap space, not factoring in the possibility of using injury reserve or not. Uh, but if long-term injury reserve is used for Condon, of course, they'll get additional relief. But at the same time here, if he is end up buried in the minors, they will get a little bit of additional relief there as well. So certainly a good move for Tampa, moving that Callahan contract wasn't something I was sure that they would do or not, considering the long-term injury reserve option that they do have to get relief that way. Uh, but right now, after making this move and putting Mike Condon in the minors, which is how it's listed on cap friendly uh, cap friendly shows them having just over 10 million dollars in cap space of course they have two outstanding contracts the big one being forward braden point and they also have to sign forward adam ernie as well not quite clear exactly how much they're going to need to get both of them done but it is believed that point likely is going to be around that at least eight million i would think nine or ten is probably more reasonable based on the terrific year he had last year and even the year before he's been improving so much and such a huge part of that team many feel he's the catalyst for their offense uh you know outside of kucherov he's probably their most dangerous consistent player even almost as much or more than stamkos now so it'll be interesting to see when they finally get that contract in place but making this trade will certainly be quite a bit of a help in helping them get there to get it done that doesn't mean that they're necessarily close to getting him signed but either way they're freeing up the space that's necessary so when they are able to they can get the deal announced and on the books here now as far as louis domingo goes, i mentioned they have obviously too many goaltenders after they have Vasilevsky and McElhinney, which will be your number one and two guys in the NHL. Uh, Louis Domingue basically loses his spot. He's making $1.15 million. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't been moved as of yet, but I'm sure they likely are trying. There could be other teams that might need an upgrade in a backup goalie position to take that on. It's a small price to pay. Uh, so Tampa very well could look to shed that to give him a little bit of extra flexibility, uh, or he could end up being in the minors along with Condon if Condon's able to play as your tandem at the American Hockey League. But they also have a few other minor league goaltenders under contract too so they have six goalies under contract all together who can play at all levels of their organization so i do expect some sort of a move more than likely uh, in the near future but i guess we'll see what happens but either way another swapping of bad contracts between these two teams let me know your thoughts down in the comments what you think here so hopefully tampa can get the braden point contract settled here shortly kind of start to set the rfa marker which will hopefully be a domino effect but many feel they're waiting for the Mariner contract in toronto to go first so We'll see if that's the case, or maybe this will be setting things up to get Braden Point signed here sooner than later. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.